Well, this hair catcher is a pain in the buttocks. It's a bang up trim fam up there. And I am sweating like a little piggy. Like that would be dirty. That would be a dirty business move. Hello, young sausage from the underworld. So today we're filming the uh, shaving video. Very tense, very tense. And I realized something crazy last night. So I don't know if you watched yesterday's or got to the end, but I mentioned that I was planning on filming uh, the video last night, like 7, 7.30 last night. And I decided, you know what? I'm not gonna do that because I want to take the evening to review the script for today. And I'm so glad I did because I've realized something that I, I just lost touch with. And so essentially it's about the banana. And so where I'm meant to be jumping in the shower to finish the shave, um, that's like way out of left field, but I need to hint at that sooner. So when we get back, I will adjust that. But uh, how do I how do I put this? Uh, Matt Rice marketing is genius. You can't bloody see me, can you? Oh, uh, you lucky soul. Yeah, Matt Rice marketing is genius. What my flipping windows, dude? Yeah, Matt Rice marketing is a genius. So everyone hates on him right now because he made some dark humor jokes that people found distasteful. But let, let's just, he's just done something recently in the last day or two as a response to everyone not liking what he's done. And it's, let's take out your emotion of not liking his dark humor joke and just understand that now he's pivoting and he wants to be in dark humor. Everyone got upset and instead of, you know, offering an apology or trying to explain himself, he <laughs> he posted on his Instagram story, uh, if you're offended by my joke, here's my official apology. And there's a link below. And the link leads to a special needs helmet. Essentially saying, if you're offended by my joke, you should buy a special needs helmet. And I, I, regardless if you think that's gross, disgusting or whatever, that is how you double down on, on who you want to become. You take the con controversy and you just pump harder into it to get the people who are on your side to be even more on your side. And in fact, you'll pick up new fans, the people that find that you are doubling down as whatever your authentic self wants to be. There's this saying in social media that you can have fans, but your fans won't become diehard fans until they have to defend you. Which essentially means create controversy while, while you have somewhat of a fan base and the people who like the direction you're going will come to defend you and it will make your fan base even stronger. I imagine, you know, that's also part of the plan here. But regardless of the context, I think it's genius. I have to go and get some those protein drinks for the missus. So I'll be right back. I'm afraid I can't handle myself here. So the, the bit I mentioned about the banana for the video, for reference, a banana is a, a part of the storyline where, a, where the main character has a couple of choices that they have to make to be able to progress forward in the story. And the banana is a choice that you didn't see coming, but it's something that once it happens, you, you realize, oh, yes, now I see how everything's connected. I like how much effort was put into that. Oh, yes. So my wife and I are watching The Cobbler last night, Adam Sandler's movie. And so he's a cobbler and next door to him is a barber. But they, they seem to be very good friends. And the barber seems to care a lot about Adam Sandler, who is the cobbler. And it just seems like he's an older guy that's looking out for 
Adam Sandler. But my wife was, she was, I didn't see it coming to be fair. And my wife was mentioning all along, she's like, I think, I think that's his dad because his dad, you find out the beginning of the story, but the beginning of the movie that his dad has just went missing one day up and left. And I'm like, mm, that, that's, you know, that's a good idea, but I'm not seeing it yet. And then as the movie started to progress, you start to see, actually, yeah, I can see how that happens. And then, you know, as it comes to the, the third act in the movie, yes, it reveals that he's actually his dad. And I realized that in my video where I hop in the shower, I'm not referencing getting in the shower at all. Yes, I'm referencing that I need to do something to um, make sure I'm not making any mess, but I don't reference anything about getting in the shower. So I need to adapt something at the beginning of my script or somewhere in the middle of the script that doesn't give away that I'm going to get in the shower, but does give away uh, or is something that when I do get in the shower or come up with the idea for the shower, the person's like, oh, yeah, I see now where he got the idea to jump in the shower. And I really, I think that's a really, uh, I think those are the types of things that honestly, over the past, I'd say like three, four months, I forgot about. I remember reading and understanding this concept but I'd forgotten about finding ways to include them is like alluding to the fact that something's going to happen, but not giving it away. And the, I think one of the things that makes this so good for the viewer is that when it does happen, they can start to link things together in their own mind and start to piece the movie together. In which case in, and when that happens, they feel more involved. Like they felt, they feel like they could have seen this coming. Uh, that they were smart enough to see this coming. And I think the part of the goal is, especially on something like TikTok, or when you're doing a series on TikTok, is when someone realizes that there's a possibility that they could try and guess the outcome, the ending, they're gonna be more invested in the next video, thinking, can I work out what the, you know, they won't know it's a banana, but can I work out what decision he's going to make at the end that changes his course of action? And they'll be looking for that the whole time, whole way through. And, you know, you can look at that from, that's great for the metrics, the analytics for the video doing well, but yes. And I'd be lying if I said that wasn't one of the reasons I did it. But one of the other reasons is that's, that would be so cool as a viewer to, to feel like to feel like you you kind of worked it out before it actually happened, but it's still a surprise. Like movies, you know, a movie that where you can guess where, what, what's going to happen or something that happens, it just sucks, you know? It's just like, uh, just boring. <laughs> but if, yeah, if you can make the viewer feel like they're in, they, they have an inside, look at what's going on I think that's really powerful so yeah we're gonna get home and adapt it and then shoot it oh, I can't wait for a shave honestly I, well I can't wait for a shave but I'm looking forward to a shave all right darling see you in a little bit after I've showered and whatnot I'm also just gonna wear the same thing I wore yesterday pretty much I find that wearing something like, in this case, a Chiefs jersey is something that people can latch onto and comment about and feel like, oh, I support the Chiefs or I hate the Chiefs or I live in Kansas City. You know, something that people can feel some kind of attachment to. All right. Let's go. We are, uh, this is good. I am... Um... Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. Uh, okay. So I was thinking about the banana, which is that I get in the shower to finish the shave off, which um, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but performs two things. One, 
is like a weird thing for the story and two shows that it's waterproof. But I was like, how do I, how do I fit this in? How do I slot this throughout the video? And I, I'm very pleased with what I came up with. So I, I was trying to think along the lines of something that's relatable that can fit in. And I came up with, when you get your hair cut, one of the most annoying things is hairs that go down your shirt and then are just itchy. Like honestly, there are people out there who can get their hair cut and go to work for the rest of the day or not have to shower immediately after. I don't understand that, can't do it, you people are crazy. So I thought, what if I dabble in little bits that show there's hairs going down my back and it's itchy and I set up some of the shots so that you can see the shower in the background and I've got a couple of little inklings. One of them I've peppered in here, which is that my wife could walk in for a shower at any moment, which is part of the crisis point, which is like that, that causes something to, to change, something to happen. And previously I had that, that my wife could just walk in. So I've changed it that she could walk in for a shower, which is like another, which is again alluding to the shower. And then I changed my final, the final wording, the final section to, uh, how do I, what's the best way to put this? To the following. So at the hook, I say, I like using a cutthroat razor because it makes me feel like a peaky blinder. And I put on a, a one of those flat caps. And then I say, so today I'm trying a shaver for the modern Peaky Blinder. And I think that has to reference in later. So the ending goes as such. Shay comes in while I'm in the shower. And this is like one of the first parts you see of me in the shower shaving. Mr. Shelby, what are you doing? Me. My back was itchy and I'm trying not to make a mess for you. And she says, it's not the mess I care about. It's just that you clean up after. And I think... I think this this all rolls up really nicely. I've also labeled out all the shots I need, so I think this is gonna go that I'll just, I'll set this camera up to the side and I'll film everything on the ZV-1 to get those clips because it's horrible sorting through like a one 30 minute piece of footage for the small clips that I need. So, um, I think, yeah. I just need to move all my lights and stuff up for good lighting and get get her done. See you upstairs. Hello. All right, let's get stuck in, you juicy old pumpkin. So I think, by the way, it's flipping hot up here in this bathroom and I've decided to do this in this outfit. Great choice. And... So we've got script on the phone. I want to get this in the right place, obviously. So shoot on manual mode. I've got a massive light going on behind us, behind me. And I think I've mentioned this before, but like one of the things that you can control the most in these videos is lighting without making it look too professional. So that's what we're gonna do. We are going to control the lighting. Let's try and get this correct. Oh. So if we're in here, we're gonna be doing this. I guess I can see in that one, can't I? Is that too bright? I don't think so. All right, so we're gonna start off the video with a couple of bits from other clips. And then we're gonna move into me putting this hat on as, I'm gonna play, so, to, so I'm gonna put this hat on and then grab this. I'm gonna shut the dog up, hold on. All right, yeah, so. Switch out. Hmm, do I want the straight razor in the shot? Just 
trying to thinky winky. I like the, sh so I've got the shower in the shot, which is what I wanted. So let's just, oh, yeah, I get shot now. I guess it's going to be. Cool. We like that a lot, Oliver. Oh, Oliver, you don't know. You've forgotten the one thing you bloody needed. The moustache hair catcher. I'm going to go and get that. My wife really hates this hat. It is gross, to be fair, on me. It's not the most fetching thing I've ever seen. Um, so the next part is clip from the last video, yes. Show beard, hair around, sink, I'll have to do that afterwards. And then put on the mustache catcher. So, I think we're just here, we do this. Wait, that needs to go up here. It's a, bit, it's a bit flipping tight on my head, isn't it? But I guess being on that, this side of the camera, you're not gonna see the DJI part of it, otherwise I can just blur it out. So here it's... There we go, that looks fantastic. So we've got them put on the moustache catcher, lovely. So now I'm going to start shaving around the cheeks. Oh wait, I didn't even do this, so today I'm trying to shave her from modern Peaky Blinder. Crap all over the screen. Where's that come from? All right, so today I'm trying a shaver for the modern Peaky Blinder. So today I'm trying a shaver for the modern Peaky Blinder. I'll also film that on my phone. Oh, dumbass, I haven't even put this on yet. Or should I have this on because it's in the hook? Let's do both and see what it looks like. So today I'm trying a shaver for the modern Peaky Blinder. So today I'm trying a shaver for the modern Peaky Blinder. Is that the script? Yeah, let's do it without this bad boy. Uh, why do I film these shots twice, I hear you asking? And it's because, like, just in case I want to change up while I'm editing. Like, it's good to think about this ahead of time. So today I'm trying a shaver for the modern Peaky Blinder. So today... So today I'm trying a shaver for the modern Peaky Blinder. Very good, all the acting skills are out of this world. So today I'm trying a shaver for the modern Peaky Blinder. So today I'm so today I'm trying a shaver for the modern Peaky Blinder. So today I'm trying a shaver for the modern Peaky Blinder. So, I'll just, I think I'm just going to start this rolling. Okay, so we're going to start cleaning up the cheeks. Oh, I'll put my stupid thing on.
forgot what my line is. I mean, to be fair, this wasn't designed for a close shave. I mean, to be fair, this wasn't designed for a close shave. I mean, to be fair, the GB42 was designed for trimming, not shaving. I mean, to be fair, the GB42 was designed for trimming, not shaving. I mean, to be fair, the GB42 was designed for trimming. Okay. Hair clippings and hair catcher, putting hand around neck as a feeling hair. So I keep shaving a little bit. Wait, but... That is brilliant acting again, Oliver, just showing the clippings going to the shirt. Nice. Uh, with my back starting to itch from the hair. Um, And then I start shaving. So I think I go with three. How do I do this? How do I normally shave? I normally do, yeah, I slowly go up, don't I? Dogs, why are they such a pain? I know it doesn't feel smooth. You're probably like, this doesn't seem enjoyable to film videos. Um, when I film them piece by piece like this, they're not as much. And I do want to get more into just doing the thing, the process. But on a, a something like this, where it's for a brand, I want to make sure I'm getting certain shots to portray certain things. Uh, and sometimes I, I, I do quite like, I like the planning aspect of this and getting the certain shots. And it, I know it makes it easier for me when it comes to editing and thus more enjoyable. Six I go with. Wasn't even recording that, was I, you donut? I go with a two normally, which is six millimeters.
beard hair's gone up my nose. Like here we go now, I think I have enough hair in here to be able to show. That, lovely. Oh, this hair catcher is a pain in the buttocks. Well, this hair catcher is a pain in the buttocks. I've literally got hair in my mouth. Why? Oh, I might have lost all my hair. Um... I'm going to change to do the next level here. In fact, it's actually doing a really good job. It's a bang up trim fam up there. This thing is a pain in the buttocks. This beer catcher is a pain in the buttocks. Okay, got lots of shots there with each stroke. All right, adjust the comb guard again. Right, adjust comb. Ten millimeters. Is that right? What do I normally go with?
Oh dear. Um, so then I'll show the head on the countertop. Cool. Um, me looking at hairs around sink. I mean, I could just shave outside. Stupid. I mean, I could just shave outside. All right, here I'm thinking, here's what I need to do in this. I'm saying, I thought about picking up my hairs one by one, and then I, like, to the camera say, I could finish shaving outside, but that just seems ridiculous as voiceover, so I need to be, con like, in my head, considering picking up the hairs, and then saying, saying I could shave outside, and then realizing that's just a ridiculous idea. Um, and I need to turn around and look at shower. I mean, I could just shave outside. There. And then, next part is me in the shower. So, I need to film a shot of hairs around the sink. But I need to do a lot of hairs, don't I? Then it's a shot like this. Cool. So I'm actually going to do my shave and then next thing I'm going to be in the shower and I think I just heard my wife come home but I'm not going to do it with this flipping beard thing this is terrible and I am sweating like a little piggy like the annoying thing is, is this doesn't go long enough for my goatee thing So I'll just try to trim in the other bits. Actually, I think I should get a shot of me trimming my underbeard with this thing. All right, and then get into the shower. I'm now wondering if there should be a shot of me cleaning up. Hmm. I'm gonna finish, yeah, finish this shave and then next shot will be in the shower, so one minute. 
I'm not priding myself on being semi-naked right now, but I thought uh, change of editing, instead of just me being in the shower the whole time for the ending, we, one second. Never in my life have I worn a towel like this, let's just be very clear, but I think it would be funny for the ending here. Um, I want to show myself doing the clearing up so that I've actually changed. Like I've shown the mess that I've had from previous times. And now I want to show that I'm actually doing the cleaning up. So then I'll get two shots. One of putting it back on here. And then another shot of me cleaning up the worktop. So it might even just be actually... me like cleaning here. God, what a numpty I look in this hat. Pleborus Maximus is what I'm gonna go with. I feel like that doesn't give me enough of an angle. This will do. Towel's falling off. Oh, <laughs> oh, thank. Oh no, it's a flipping reflection. Now I've got to. Now I have to go back and edit that. I'm going to have to do that straight after this, otherwise I may not remember to do it. In which case, oh no, it's going to be a nightmare if you see my 12-inch. BBC. <laughs> I do that, and then I'll keep the toothbrush there, but everything else looks clean. Damn it. That's everything I need. Whoop. I gotta get this towel off now. Alright, let's go downstairs. Bro, that hair is pretty violent, isn't it? Alright, the day, uh, I think I owe an apology really. Not for today, so I, I kind of explain. Um, still didn't have the contract through this morning, but I was on the hook to get this video done. So to give you, I think I should give you a little bit of context here. And the reason I'm apologizing is because I, I speak in declaratives and I tried to give advice as my experience as a creator in what you should and shouldn't do. So first thing I said, you shouldn't start any work until a contract is signed. Now there are nuances to that in terms of uh, working in good faith, where the brand or the agency have a deadline to hit, and there are a few things that get caught up in the middle, and it's battling through those. Anyway, we went through, we set on the price, a couple of things happened, we renegotiated a, um, a rush fee, 
And then there was still like another day where contracts were being negotiated. It was kind of, it shouldn't have taken that long. But because we'd already gone through the rush fee and it's within my best, best interest too, to try and get this video completed. I woke up this morning and I was like, you know what? We're gonna do this. Let's just get it done. And I I finished the video before contracts have been signed, which is a ridiculous position to be in, but I don't have tomorrow to do anything because I'm gonna be away for Thanksgiving. So, got that done. And, oh, my microphone is not on. Um, the, I sent an email to the guy at the agency and the brand saying, look, I have the video ready. I will hold on to the draft until such time as the contract is, is done. Okay? Because otherwise I end up putting all of my eggs in one basket and they can dictate what, hap dictate what happens. Because if then they decide, oh, sorry, the budget's been cut like crazy. We can only now do half of this. I'm in a position where I'm like, well, the video is all done. You've seen it. And then it's like, I'm not gonna not take that money, right? Like that would be dirty, that would be a dirty business move. Anyway, things worked out, video's done, approved, everything's all set, so I'll be posting tomorrow. Um, but I'm apologizing because there are more nuances as you go through that change certain outcomes and what you're doing. Um, yeah, I think I tried to talk in the, 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 not just the best case scenario, but the reality, like, I, uh, I chose setting a good example for this brand. I, I put that as higher priority than um, waiting until the contract was done and potentially wasting a day of work. And that was my choice. Like, you know, I'm the one who would pay for it if, if that didn't work. Yeah, absolutely exhausted. We got it all done. I'm gonna be off for the next two days, so. Um, yeah, hope you have a good Thanksgiving if you're watching this. Yeah, because you'll be watching this tomorrow. I'm gonna play with my cousin for a bit now, chill out. All right, <laughs> later, dude. <laughs>